know what this creature is? I'll give you some hints. It lives most of its life upside down and moves very, very slowly. Did he guess it? Yep, it's a sloth. Sloths live in a forest of Central and South America. They can be hard to find in the wild because they have good camouflage, and they rarely come down from their homes up in the trees. I spent the whole morning one day searching for sloths with this guide. I would not guarantee you giving my words by saying, yes, we will see a sloth, because we are not in the news to see a sloth. We have to be in the jungle, walking around, looking timely, carefully, until maybe we hope to see one. Yeah. I got it. I got him. There is one. We did find one, but all it looked like was a bunch of wet hair or a nest stuck way up in a tree. I was really lucky one day to find a sloth at Tarambina Rainforest Center. It was awake and moving around. This is pretty rare to see in the wild, because sloths sleep almost 20 hours a day. We waited long enough, always waking up, uh, saying I want to go back to sleep. Sloths are my favorite animal, so I want to learn more about them. I got the chance to do this at RVRVO's Sloth Rescue Center. That's near Puerto Viejo in Costa Rica. This is Buttercup. She was the first sloth brought to the rescue center. She was just a little baby like these guys when she arrived here in 1992. Like these babies, Buttercup was an orphan, which means she lost her mom. Her mom was killed by a car. Baby Buttercup didn't know how to live on her own. She was lost and alone in the forest. Some kids found her and brought her here, where she can be safe. Buttercup is happy here and so friendly. She loves people. I think Buttercup thinks that she's a person. Or maybe she thinks that we're all sloths. I love how she always looks like she's smiling. Look at her hand. This is why scientists say she's a three-toed sloth. The name does not seem very correct though, because they're actually talking about the number of claws on a sloth's hand, not its feet. Let's go meet Millie, who's a two-toed, uh, two-fingered sloth. This lady is Ursula Rokte. Her mom started this rescue center. Millie is so cool. See her two front claws? Millie loves the camera. She's sniffing it out to see if it's something to eat. Millie's fur is really soft. Even though know they live in a hot climate, sloths have this thick fur coat. That's because they can't heat their bodies like we do. Sloths live most of their lives hanging upside down on trees. They do almost everything upside down. Eat, sleep, mate, and even give birth. They spend so much time upside down, the hair grows up, not down like ours. This helps the rainwater run off their fur so they dry quickly and they don't catch a cold. They come out of the trees only about once a week, and that's to go to the bathroom. Sloths do everything slowly. They are the slowest mammals in the world. Although they are very slow, sloths are also very careful about their movement. They know exactly what they're doing. This keeps them from falling out of their trees and keeps them hidden from predators. So I named this animal sloth because that means lazy. But sloths aren't lazy, they're just slow. So maybe they should be called slopes instead of sloths. Thanks for coming along on our supernatural slope of adventure.